I'd arrived home with no greater ambition than to have a long soaking bath. Instead, I walked into a planned spontaneous party. The problem is I don't dance very well, so I normally move into the corner where I can do the least damage. I was corner bound when a man about my age came up to me. Judging by the amount of salty cracks he was carrying, I don't think he'd eaten for some time. Because there were no plates, he'd cunningly taken a small picture off the wall and used it for a similar purpose. It made no phonetic difference, but he told me he was Clayton with an E at the end. Johannesburg has this wonderful sense of friction. You have a lot of people with divergent views, yet they live cheek by jowl. It's a kind of matzo pudding. My hero is just a normal guy zigzagging his way through a crazy South Africa. His only real skill, I suppose, is his ability to bounce. He gets battered about, but somehow manages to maintain his sense of humor. Miracles never last. They're never allowed to. The burning bush appears. It's a miracle. Then someone says it's his burning bush and ropes the area off. Then someone else says, there's a business opportunity here. And the burning bush becomes a tourist attraction. Then someone else says, it's a holy site burning bush tourist attraction. And pretty soon we're killing mothers and slitting children's throats arguing about whose holy site burning bush tourist attraction it really is. Peter was 41, and yet he knew it was all over. He had climbed the ladder to the middle rung and frozen. No longer brave enough to force himself higher, he was also too terrified to look down. So he clung on pathetically, hoping no one would notice. He wondered if everyone lived a leaking life. As a country, we're half-baked, we haven't settled yet. Nothing is set. The recipe hasn't been fully figured out. I think we're still cooking, and we aren't sure what the new South Africa is going to represent. It probably remakes itself every couple of months, and this allows us to ferment in this amazing place. So, it's sometimes funny, sad, but it's never, ever boring. <laughs> 